Well, boys and girls, friends, ladies and gentlemen, the Hyundai did it. It left me stranded last night. Uh, wow, I don't know what to tell you. We got a mess going on here. I pulled apart the connection on the battery because it just wouldn't crank. It would do that, you know, that kind of stuff. And this is what I came up with. This was the positive terminal. So this had this wire connected to here, which is normal. But the connection corroded off and they had this jammed in under here. So that was that condition. That's the stock factory one. It looks okay. Um, right now I'm running a charge on the battery. Uh, the battery's sitting at 94% charged. This is the second time in an hour I've had to charge it up. Um, I'll get back to you and show you what that's all about. Just for the heck of it, you know, shites and giggles, I decided to pull... I decided to pull the uh, spark plugs out and they're worn because what happened was I switched it to AM radio because I was trying to hear the alternator to see what was going on with the alternator down here if it's and it's making all kinds of noise so uh, yeah that's another thing but let me get back to you hold on stand by so yeah we got to do the evaluation on it um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing because I wanted to do it for a project for the channel. And uh, the hits have been mediocre on it. I don't think there's enough interest in the world, I guess, in a Hyundai. Which is kind of sad because basically the whole concept is can you take a beater car and economically put it on the road and drive it. The reason why I need to do the beater car is because I want to not drive my truck so much because it's expensive to operate. And I'm financially embarrassed due to the lack of employment. So that's what I'm working on. And this car was, was abandoned, sitting in the driveway when I got the house. So I got a title. And I thought, you know what, why not give it a shot? And it would make good content. So it was throwing some codes. So we worked on that. Uh, right now I have a code on Bank 1, Sensor 1 for the O2 sensor. It's throwing a heater code. So I have to figure that out. And it comes, it's intermittent. It's every once in a while. And I'm not sure. I'm not an automotive tech. I don't pretend to be. I'm not going to lie and say that I am. Uh, but the uh, it throws a code. So I'm going to try to figure that out. And I'm learning as I go. I'm, I've got a lot of inspirational sources that I that I watch on YouTube. That being Watch West Work. And uh, Rayman Ray Repairs. Both those guys, you know, I learned a lot watching their channel. I'm starting to understand fuel trims and all that stuff. Like this, I'm an old school guy, right? We're talking, we're talking Holly carburetors, Rochester's, Carter's, uh, mechanical fuel pumps. I mean, that's all we had in the race cars. That's all I grew up with. I can build a build a Rochester, no problem. Um I was watching Wasp West work. He did the evil thing. He adjusted the power valve, and you don't touch the power valve. They call it an economizer valve. Rochester had a stupid name for it for the quadrijet. Never touch it. He touched it. Messed the carb up. But back in the day, we used to call them uh, sprinkle jets because they always had a problem with flooding. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that's the old school crap I'm used to. So I'm getting into this, into this OBD2 stuff and trying to understand it. I bought a an Ansel code reader off of uh, the jungle the jungle site and it uh, it told me a lot of stuff but it tests the O2 sensor as okay except it fails on this time interval thing so I'm wondering if the O2 centers sensor is no good so I have to figure that out and it and the code that it throws is a heater element it's a P0030 and it says there's something wrong with the heater element circuit. These O2 sensors are heated to um, bring up the uh, response time, make them quicker, so it goes into closed loop quicker. So I've understood that. So I, I'm learning this stuff. This is a learning curve for me. But like I said, the shite missile let me down last night with a dead battery. So... I wanted to give you guys a quick look at how this, this works. This is that Ansel battery tester you've seen in the other one. So it says 99% charge on, on there. So we can stop it. So let's pull the charge off. Let's quickly throw this on. 
Okay, so that's on. So it should be programmed for what we're looking at. That's a car battery, and we're going to hit that. And it's basically out of vehicle because it's not connected to any wiring. And I think that's uh, going to give you a more indicative response. So it's regular flooded. I'm just going to check these terminals, make sure they got good bite. It's a regular flooded acid battery. Sorry, there's glare. Um, whoops, that's the waveform. You're not going to see anything there because there is nothing. Regular flooded. Enter. Cold cranking amps. It's rated at 600 CCA. You can see it's still left in there. And then we hit enter for the test. There it is. Same test twice. Replace the battery. It has a current cold current uh, cranking capacity right now of 381 amps. And it's supposed to be 600. It, the voltage in the battery is down to 12.61, which is literally 10 seconds after I tried it. So we'll go back. It says replace the battery scrap. And we'll try this again. And we'll fire the, this is my old charger. It still works good. I love it. It's back on. 85 amps. So, I mean, this battery's dying literally looking at it. So, that's the gone. That's the given. I got to figure out what to do with these terminals here. That's the one for the starter. That's the main vehicle terminal. I've got to figure out what to do with that. So, that's the other problem. Now I'm checking the back brakes because I'm getting a noise out of the driver's side wheel. The exhaust system's perfect. I have to figure that out. I got one hole to patch in the wheel well on the other side. I got a broken wheel stud to replace. So I'm going to pull the brake, brake drum off, get a boo at what's going on inside there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. So that's where I'm at today. Um, we'll keep going. I don't know. I started this series, so I might as well finish and see it to the end. Let me know if you have any comments. Just like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz morale. And please, if you got any feelings on this, let me know. I want to try to show, maybe show you guys how to do some body work too. Because I'll just touch it up a bit. And uh, that that kind of be some interesting content. So that's where I am. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. As soon as I get back to the brakes. So I got brakes the brake drum off that came off relatively easy uh the only problem i had was getting the, the lug nuts off they're a little bit tight and the brake pad shoes don't look too bad uh, i'm gonna you know they get a little bit of wear but i'm gonna adjust them up again and put this all no leaking wheel cylinder everything looks good so i'll just clean them do a little adjustment on them. The adjuster's right in this hole. And we'll see how it moves. Got one left hand thread. I think that one's left hand thread. It appears the gap is getting bigger. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to adjust that up a little bit, and then I'll move on to the other side. So that's good news there. At least I know I don't got to buy a set of shoes for it. So, so far what we need is a set of spark plugs and a battery. The drum looks okay. So that's, that's some positives. Brake lines are just a tiny bit, but nothing really extravagant, right? A little bit, nothing brutal. Depends on the mechanic who's doing the inspection. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving on. Because why not? There's the body work we might get into. We'll see. Oh, where's the uh, chicken coop? So we got the wheel stud done. And Mrs. Ott came by. She's gonna take us down to Napa. Get the... Uh, Get the parts we need because the wheel studs broke. So it's an M M12 by 15. I got it out. Uh, Got to get a wheel stud for it. I'm going to see if Napa has the uh, battery terminal that we need. I don't know. I'm going to buy their batteries. They're a little bit expensive, so I haven't figured out if I'm going to buy the battery for Napa or uh, 
Newfie Chrome in sport, which is Canadian for Canadian Tire. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to go get some parts. Stand by. Alrighty, this happened. I made this menage. Uh, <laughs> what do you call that? I don't know what you call that. I had to make that up to get the positive cable back on because the original was corroded off. It had a stud in it where these ears were wrapped around. I took that out. This is super short. I don't think there's enough battery cable down to the starter to hook that up. So it is what it is and I'm kind of trapped. It's on a little bit of a jankous angle, but it's working. This is what they had on before. They had this chuck stuck under there. It didn't work. There we are. So, wheel stud time. Alrighty. So, here's the recap for the day. Got the wheel stud put in. I had to run back to Napa because their listing was, the diameter for the neural was too small. So, me and the parts counter guy did a little bit of uh, monkeying around and we got it figured out. And we got that done. Uh, I had to put a new battery in it. So I went to Canadian Tire and I bought a battery. And that was, believe it or not, 150, 53 or something, 58. But I got some bonus coupon money. So yeah, I did that. I ended up getting 12 or 15 bucks back in bonus money because there was a promotion going on. So I, I took advantage of the promotion. So that's a triangle rewards deal. Uh, I'm not endorsing Canadian Tire, but it, you know I'm endorsing saving some pocket money. And I did buy a uh, CZ455 with the last Canadian Tire money I had built up. So it does pay off to use your reward points and collect them. The car's running fantastic. Uh, the Bluetooth dongle I bought is fantastic. I bought that on Amazon, 17 bucks, and so I can get phone calls now. I can run hands-free. I can get, uh, I play YouTube music in the car. I don't have a Spotify account. It'd be, I don't know, it's basically, it's the same thing, right? And it's free. I don't even have the premium account. It's decent enough. You get a little bit of advertising, but what the heck. We run that in the shop and uh, while we're driving around. So the car's coming along good. I adjusted the back brakes. Like I said, put in the wheel stud. The exhaust is okay. The last flange at the muffler it's been done with a sleeve um, so that I did have that option to fix mine with the sleeve but then I thought I might have to take it apart at the catalytic converter if I would have done it with a sleeve it would have made that extremely difficult because we actually replaced the joint at the catalytic converter to the extension with a uh, with, a, with a without having any flanges so that's a solid connection so that makes things just in case, right? I was worried about that. I don't have my O2 sensor trouble coat back yet. I don't know if that's gonna come back. And like I said, that's a P0030 for low volt or no voltage at the heater. So I don't know what that is. I did look it up. Apparently it's ground switch, so it should be hot all the time. So I'm gonna check into that and see what I see what I got going there. So um yeah that's where we're at now um the car is good i'm just waiting for jake to bring my truck back and uh i can't believe you can actually sit in this thing and talk that's the, that's the good part of it so that's it in the nutshell we got the car done uh, a little bit of running around lots of work but i think i'm still saving i filled this thing up uh at a dollar 61 a liter cost me 40 47 dollars and there was still over a quarter of a tank so the idea is to save some money and so hopefully that'll do it the car was here anyway so why not right it might do us it might do us that it might save us some money um there's a weird resonation one of those though i don't know the spark plugs are junking and i pulled them all checked them all they're old champions they're not even they're not they're just junk junk champions i mean the cheapy copper core no platinum so I think I'll do uh, single platinum plugs or double platinum I don't know I'll figure out a set of plugs for it get them ordered up and uh, go from there that's Jake pulling in now I gotta drive him back home so let's see I gotta get it in I got one hole to patch for uh, hopefully to pass the 
provincial inspection and then uh, that would give me my sticker for two years and then if I get two years out of the car I get two years out of the car I don't really care I'm just hoping to get one year out of it and I think if I use it for ripping around and bombing and parts getting I'll save a lot of money and a lot of wear and tear on the truck because the truck kilometers it's a it's a new truck it's 20 20 20 20 21 22 20 21 I had it two years now, yeah, so it's a 21, so it costs money. Um, those new trucks aren't free, so. Anyway, Jake's gonna come with me and uh, I'm gonna take him home. And then uh, we're gonna go from there. Still sounds good? Yeah. So. Clock yeah. wider. Yeah, usable. Uh, the only problem is, is uh, Mr. Clock, the buttons don't work, so you have to is that tune in. There you go. You got to wait till one o'clock, either mid or one o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the afternoon. Power the car down and repower it. So there's that. Anyway, thanks again. This will be part three in the series. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Do what you need to do. Check back often for uh, more content because we're always making content. And uh, somebody wants me to do, a, Jake, to do a live on that Yes Welder. So we're going to set that up. Um, I'll talk to Jake maybe next Sunday night. I'm I don't know. Trying to get some scrap metal from Arthur, St. Arthur, and to bank some, a bead down or something. Yeah, we, only, we don't have 240 volt there, so we're limited to what we can do. But we'll play with it for you guys. So that's up and coming. Um, i got to go up to, to the St. Arthur place. i got to do some lawn cutting tomorrow. We're gonna bring up the, the Canadiana tractor up there, the, the lawn tractor, and then we'll uh, we'll give it a go with that. So that's it. There's us running down the road. And uh, anyway, thanks again. The car's running decent. Are we saving a buck? Time will tell. So take care. Catch you later. And God bless. And peace out.